Thank you, Pastor Rika. Thank you. I'm very happy for people that are invited in here, like we said, you do. Um, Joyce, I've been hearing, they gave me um, all those, uh, is this uh, internet or the I read about her and I was so impressed, I was so happy. But there's still something that still confused me. Like uh, in the Bible, about what we are wearing, they say woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor a man wear anything that pertains to a woman. Who does this is an abomination. But they said also when Jesus Christ came, he came to wipe out all the um, Old Testament, that he came to say, come as you are to the church. The main thing he's seeking for is our soul. That it doesn't matter whether you wear this or wear that. But I didn't like the mini pants or whatever. But I'm still saying maybe pants is still okay because it covers women under even if you're bending or standing the other way. It still covers you. I'm still confused about it. It's okay. The preachers who preach to you are not Christians. They are not people that know Jesus, that know his word, and that have heaven in their mind. They are preaching the gospel of liberty to sin. They rather want to tell you that there's sufficient grace to cover you. Uh -huh. In the Old Testament, the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. Is that commandment canceled now? It's no more applying in the New Testament because Jesus has died. So that thieves are free. They still abide. The Old Testament is divided into two laws. We call some, the one law, ceremonial laws. And another, moral laws. You will look at a law to know whether this is ceremonial or this is moral. The moral law speaks of God, and God remains forever, and that law remains forever. In concerning the moral law, thinkest thou that I come to destroy the law? No, I come to fulfill the law. Until heaven and earth shall pass, no jot or tittle shall pass from the law unfulfilled. That's talking about the moral law. But the ceremonial law, the ceremonial law comes to say if a woman is, in, is menstruating, she should stay away from, from the congregation. She should not touch anything. Whatever she touches is unclean. That's ceremonial. It's just teaching them on, to giving them an idea of discipline in holiness. But that one is not applying to a woman now. In Christ, because the date of Christ has cancelled that. That's the ceremonial law. Look at it in the book of Romans, chapter Romans, chapter nine, Romans chapter ten, rather, verse one to four. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer for God, a prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Verse 4, can we read it if you are there? One, two, go. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. So, the end of the law, all these ceremonial laws have come to an end. And the effort to observe laws, making effort to just observe law, you won't have the energy. It has come to an end. Go to Christ now. He will give you the energy to keep his commandments. Look at it in the book of John, chapter 14. John, chapter 14. I read verse 15, verse 21. 
verse 15. If ye love me, what should you do? Keep my commandments. Which means there are still commandments to be kept. Thou shalt not kill is a commandment of God. Don't do anything that is an abomination is the commandment of God. It is a, just as we have heard about the wearing of trousers that it defiles people. It defiles people. So that gives, that commandment remains true, both in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. But there are commandments that was just given to Israel in Palestine. For example, there should be no mixed farming. If you are farming, don't bring granite and corn in the same place. Those ones are not, it doesn't mean anything now. There's no sin on that matter in their present time. It doesn't cause you to be morally defiled. It doesn't do that. The sin now, what the law wants to handle is the heart of a man, which Jesus is the only one to handle, where sin issues from. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceeds wickedness. So the attention now is to get the heart purified. Many people on their own know that as a woman, they should not wear trousers. In, when they are born again, is that so? It, you know because your heart will tell you that you'll be causing another person to stumble. They know it. So this remains a moral law which is not canceled by the death of Christ, but rather fulfilled. Christ came to fulfill it, to establish it, and to empower us to keep it. Is that okay, my sister? Oh, beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. 